Y sí. Just a moment, please. No. It's not good. What is that? Page 187. Let me show you my screen. Just a moment. Could you please get your math for B book? Open it on page 187. Math 4B book. Pay, open it on page 187. Uh, math 4B book. Page 187. Okay, so we have here for 187, we have your figure 5. Figure 5. So in figure 5, children, what says in here? What shape is this? Very easy. And then figure 6, what shape is this? And then 7, what characteristic of the, do these two quadrilateral share? Okay, for number 10, do you do figure 5? Ah, you do number eight, number nine. You do number eight in number nine. You do eight and nine. And then for number ten, children, for number ten, I know someone, some of you we cannot answer it. For number ten, the answer is this one. Okay, so you can see a rectangle and a square, children, right? Okay, so what do they share? Okay, so we all know that Rectangle and a square, they are equiangular quadrilaterals, okay? So they are equiangular, equiangular, equiangular quadrilaterals, quadrilateral, quadrilateral, okay? So they are equiangular quadrilateral, quadrilateral, okay? So... All the angles are right angle. All the angles are right angles. All the angles. All the angles. All the angles are quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Okay, all the angles are quadrilateral children. Okay, you do number 8 and number 9, and then number 10, the answer is in there. And then next, number 11, what component of a circle is AB? Component of circle is AB. Very easy. You have seen that one in the, in the video that you have watched a while ago. Is it radius or diameter? I don't know. Okay, next we have what component of a circle is JY? JY, very easy. And then what component of the circle is the point A on? Number 13, I will be the one to answer for number 13. You answer number 11, number 12. Okay, next for number 13, I will be the one to answer for number 13 that would be the circumference that would okay next for, for figure 14 for
Five minutes more. Okay, how about that? Are still when? Are you finished? No, okay. No, not yet. Okay. It's okay, take your time. You still have five minutes. Five minutes. Is there anybody else who are not yet finished? Can we move on, children? Okay. Now we're going to move on with page 188. Okay. Now for 188, just a moment, children. Okay. There you go. For page 188, we're going to have here. Let me see. Okay, just a moment. Okay, page 188. Okay, so page 188, so we have here how many axes of symmetry does a rectangle have? We're just going to put how many numbers. And then next we have number 17, how many axes of symmetry does a square have? Very easy. Just going to write the numbers. And then next we're going to have for number for figure 13. Let me see if you can do this, this figure 13 
Okay, so for figure 13, you just go in to write down how many arrow sets of symmetry. I don't know. 18, 18, sorry. Number 18, write the parallel lines using symbols. Okay, so what are the parallel lines in here? For the... the okay, you do 16, 17. Okay, and the 18, what are the parallel lines in here? A, B... A, B, is parallel to oh, C, D. C, D. Okay, so A, B, and C, D. Okay, so parallel, A, B is parallel. It should be like this one, number 18. I know some, the others cannot do this one. Okay, so we have A, B. You do the, you write the symbols, children. Okay, the symbols at the top, which is like this one. Okay. I cannot put this one too long because it will gonna move on as I, I write the others. You have to put like this one, children. Can you see this? Can you see this one? Can you see it? It should be A, B. And then you must have to put... Where is my cursor? I cannot see my cursor. Okay, so it should be parallel. Oh my goodness, that should be. That shouldn't be. Okay, it's parallel. You see, this is what I am telling you because I have to move this one. So you do the, you do the honor to do that one in your notebook. Okay, so parallel to CD. It should be like that one. Okay, so I must have to copy this. It will gonna move as I copy. This. So this one, you should put the symbol like this one on your notebook. Do you understand, children? In the next, draw the next two shapes of the pattern. Two shapes, only two shapes. So, so we have heart. And then what next? What, what shape is this one, children? What shape is this one? That is a square. That is a square. It's just that a diamond. Very good. So a diamond and then a rectangle. Okay, a rectangle, a height, a diamond, two rectangles, a height, a diamond, and a triangle. You, you draw, you do the next two shapes, okay? And then next, for number three, use colors to divide these pictures into four rectangles. You have to divide this picture into four rectangles in here. So what are you going to do? Where are you going to put the line so that you can do rectangles in here? Up to you. you will, that would be your challenge. Do you understand, children? You have to put four rectangles, three triangles, and two half circles. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay. That's nice. I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you five minutes. Would that, that be okay? Okay, just ask me if you have any problem, okay? You color. It says in here for number three, use colors to divide the use colors. ความยาวร่วมรูปของรูปคือ
ความยาวด้านด้านมารวมกันนำความยาวด้านด้านมารวมกันเอาไว้ตรงหรือถ้าใครเห็นว่าเป็นลูกศิษย์เป็นลูกหลานเราสามารถใช้วิธีการเอาความยาวด้านมาคูณกินได้ทำไมหนูคูณสี่เพราะว่าเลขสี่เนี้ยแล้วเลขคุณสมบัติของเลขสี่เหลี่ยมจัตุรัสด้านหรือด้านยาวเท่ากันเราไม่จำเป็นต้องเอาเลขเดียวมาบวกกันสิคะเราใช้วิธีการเอาเลขอยู่ในหนักคุณสี่เป็นคุณจำนวนด้านไปเลยนะคะต่อแม่พื้นที่ที่เมื่อกี้เราควรกันถ้าเป็นรูปสี่เหลี่ยมถ้าสูตรก็คือความกว้างหรือความยาวความกว้างหรือความยาวความยาวนอนนะคะหรือใครจะจำว่ากว้างหรือยาวควาพื้นที่ของรูปสี่เหลี่ยมจัตุรัสสูตรก็คือความยาวด้านสูตรความยาวด้านหรือหนูจะเขียนว่าด้านสูตรด้านก็ได้ให้หนูสังเกตนะว่าเองกระบุกหรือขีดถ้าเกิดเราคูณกันแล้วในรูปสี่เหลี่ยมจัตุรัสขึ้นหาพื้นที่ถ้าเกิดเลขของการไม่เหมือนกันให้เราคิดว่าเราเพราะว่าเองนะคะรูปสี่เหลี่ยมจัตุรัสด้านด้านยาวเท่ากันแสดงว่าเลขที่เราต้องมองถ้ามันสองมันก็ต้องคูณสองกันถ้ามันสามก็ต้องคูณสามกันมันจะไม่สามแบบนี้เพราะถ้าเป็นสามแต่ว่าโอเค I'm going to give you maybe ten minutes is that okay for you okay finish okay how about the others are you finished children so we have here okay two more minutes Two to three more minutes for the others. Okay.
finish when finish finish so we have here i have to remove these there you go okay so here we are here we are today interrupt okay so we're going to have the page page 189 children so we're going to move with page 189 guys okay so we're going to have who is this asking me in our group in line who's mentioning me in our group in line oh it, your internet is not good yeah yeah okay it's okay yeah yeah we're just going to keep you updated when you come here later okay it's okay okay next we're going to have page 189 so we have here for number one it says here make sure it's angle each angle in white its type okay so what what type of angle is this one for number one of course very very for number one so we have here what is the measurement i'm going to answer number one for you children that would be your bonus for number one we have here angle p r s p r s okay so measures it measures 110 degrees okay so for number one angle okay we're just going to write angle okay in here so that it would be easier for me p r s so we have here angle p r s measures measures 110 degrees okay so that is 110 degrees children okay we're just going to write it in in words okay but if you want to write it in symbol you can do it okay so it is an obtuse angle okay so it is an obtuse angle obtuse angle okay so next you're going to do your turn for number two number three and number four that would be your turn anyway for number four children that is a reflex angle that is a reflex angle for number four that is a reflex angle okay for number four i'm going to give you type of angle for number four okay you do number two number three and number four okay so type of angle for number four that is for number four you do the measurement and then the type of angle that is a reflex angle okay that would be your bonus reflex angle because we did not have this one we only have the three major either three main angles that anyway common angle that we that we tackle is the obtuse angle the acute angle in the right angle that's the three that we had last time because we did not we only focus for the three not for the others the reflex angle the straight angle we didn't have much time we didn't have much activity for those only the three okay do it now for number four just ask me if you have any question So Yaya cannot join us because her internet is not okay. There's a problem with her internet connection.
Okay. So it will gonna take you a lot of time for the last activity that we're going to have. It's page 190. So I'm going to give you five more minutes for page 189. Are you finished, Sophia? Not yet? Not yet. Not yet. It's okay. We still have a lot of time. That's why I, I have given you one hour for this activity. So how many students are in here? So we are having a recap. Finish. Finish. How about the others? How about the others, children? Who are not yet finished? Could you please raise your hand for those who are not yet finished? The others are not answering sometimes, but then if I'm going to let them show me what they are doing, they will tell me they are not yet finished. Who are not yet finished, children? Could you please raise your hands? Those who are not yet finished, raise your hand, please. And uh, Pao, finish already. Who are not yet finished? Okay, finish. Okay, great, great. Okay, now we're going to move on, children. Okay, I think Ang Pao. Uh -huh. Who else? Irene. Who else? Josh. Focus two and focus focus two are you with Ang Pao in one room? You are studying together, right? Children? Okay, now we're going to move on with number five. Number five, no. <laughs> activity number five. Now we're going to move on with activity number five, which is the longest, I think, that you're going to do because you're going to construct an angle and then you're going to put the measurement in there also. So on page, you see this one. Page 180. That's the last that's the last activity we're going to do. We are going to construct angle G T N. So the vertex is T. Okay. So what are the arms of the angle G T? Okay. So we have <laughs> T G and T J and T N. Okay, so we have here construct angle G T N so that the angle measures 75 degrees. And the arms measure 4.5 and 3 centimeters, respectively. You're going to use your ruler, okay? Your protractor. Using your protractor. Your protractor. In here. 
the protractor, you have your protractor with you, right? I've already told you to buy some. One, okay, using your protractor, you measure, you measure, using your protractor, you measure the angle of the of those, you measure the angles of one, two, three, and four, and then using your, you're going to measure the angle, and then using also your ruler, and for your ruler, you need to measure the arms, okay? In centimeter, not in inches, children. Centimeter. Okay, so we have here. You're going to use your protractor and roller. Do it now, children. I can give you 10 minutes or 15 minutes, even 15 minutes for this one, for this activity, because it will gonna take you a little bit time for doing this. Okay, do it now. Oh, sure. You answer one, two, three, and four. You draw. So we have here for number two, construct reflex angle. Oh my goodness, reflex angle, STD, so that the angle measures 314 degrees and the eyes measures four and three centimeters, respectively. So TS would be four centimeter and TG would be the three, it would be the would be three centimeters okay how about number three construct angle obg so that the angle measures 38 degrees in the arm ob measures 3.5 centimeters and arm bg measures 14 centimeters it's just around four three and five centimeters for the arms of the angle still when so you have to use your ruler okay so just a moment
So do you have your ruler with you, children? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. And do you know how to use your ruler? You see, do you know how to measure the arms of the angles using the centimeter of your ruler? Do you know? Yes or no? Okay, so in your ruler, have you seen this ruler? Okay, so in your ruler, we have the, the bigger size. We have here the inches. The smaller size is in centimeter. You can see the, you can see the sign. It has centimeter in it. So you could use it. This is for, this is for inches. The bigger size, you see? Inches. In the upper part, this is centimeter, the smaller. Okay. This is the centimeter of your ruler. Finish.
Not yet. Not yet. Okay, take your time. You still have a lot of time. No worries. Is it easy or hard? Hard. Hard? Oh, goodness. Okay, just a moment. Let me see what I can do for you, children. Okay, is it full screen? So if you're going to make... Okay, let me see. Where is that? Okay. So just a moment. Are we just going to... Okay. Okay. Let me make my own. But then you have to do the... Later, later. I will help you later. So, then, children. Because I'm, if I'm going to let you see it now. Okay, a moment, please. Just a moment. degrees it should be like this one right so it should be we have here gt and 4.5 so 4.5 is this one Ooh, zero So it should be longer T in. So this one is four point five. 4.5 cm and this one is 3 centimeters so the angle would be 75 degrees there you go so just a moment children i will gonna show you something for number one but i for the angle children you must have to measure for the angle because for the angle that i have made i don't have protractor but this should be this should be like this one okay it should be like this one just a moment i will just go in to share you my screen should be like this one hmm gtn
Oh, can you see my... Teacher, you have page, any problem? Page one hundred and eighty. We are finished. With page one hundred and nineteen. That should be one page one hundred and nineteen. Teacher, say page one hundred and eighty. Goodness. The page in one hundred and eighty is not there. I'm so sorry, children. Oh, oh. Okay, pa that is page 118. Uh, page 190, children. For the... Because for page 180, we are finished with it. We are finished with page 180 last time, right? You still remember? So we are still, we are now in page 189 and a while ago. So we're going to move on with page 190. Okay, so this one should your it should look like this one okay for 175 100 uh, for for number one you have here for number one your angle should your angle should be look like this one children can you see this one okay so it says in here it should measure for it should measure the other arm is three centimeter and the other arm is 4.5 centimeters so we have here angle gtn so i have here Tn is 3 cm and T, Tj. Tj is 3 cm and Tn is 4.5 cm, children. Up to you, if what you want. Which arm do you want to be for 3 cm and 4 cm? So you have to measure 75 degrees for your angle. It is an acute angle. It is less than 90 degrees.
Yes. Thank you. Okay.